All right, so what are we gonna do? We bought this little cheap power strip here. It doesn't even light up. I didn't check it like a dumbass. But it's the cheapest you could find one for. I mean, I can't buy one like for $249 anywhere. So I'm just gonna lop the end off of it and I'll wire it into L1 and the neutral here. For some reason, so this is set uh, to 120 volts, but it's still putting out 240. Um, so I don't know what the reason is for that, but anyway, I've already checked it. So we need to put a load on this thing while we still got some sunlight. So I need to go find my wire cutters and just cut the end of this thing off. Um, I hate doing it, but it's like, I don't want to put Romex on this damn thing because it's a uh, pain in the ass. But they had to do something like that, you know, it's just, I, I don't like doing it. So later on when it goes wired up to 240 volts, it'll be a different story. All right, so we're gonna use all kinds of thrift store crap today. So I'm gonna use the Weller soldering iron and plug it in over here. Okay. I get my soldering paste out and some solder. And uh, I'm just gonna solder the ends of the wires here. Am I on camera here? Apparently not. Okay. So. Uh, when I put these kind of wires into things, I, I like to have them soldered. It just makes things easier. Um, stranded wire isn't really the best to be using for these type of things. Unless it's really big strands. Okay. Oh man, come on. Lord have mercy. Thing went flying. Okay. This one heats up fast. I'm really kind of shocked. It's one of the the better ones I've found. I don't know why it works so well, but it does. We'll deal with the ground later. We're just trying to put a simple load on it. It's neutral. It's neutral bonded anyways, so, um, and we still got a lot of work to do before we can do anything with this. All right, so I've got a limited amount of time because it's already about four o'clock and um, my panels are probably already shaded where they're at. I don't really have a quick way to um, change anything easily. Um, I don't know if my wires are going to reach. I think I'm going to have a problem. I didn't make them long enough. We'll see. What I'll just end up better to do is strip back some of the cord. Oh no, actually they're going to reach. Now I don't particularly care for most of these type of uh, Breakers, they usually, yeah, the piece of plastic just came off. They usually don't work that good, is what I found. And it just depends. I bought some that are just really, really crap. So we got that in there. So now let's, uh, let's see if we can um, possibly focus on what's going on over here. Okay, so it actually says they got about 130 watts coming into it, but it's floating my battery at 55.2. We'll turn the inverter on, turn the breaker on, which actually turns red instead of green, which kind of seems counterintuitive, but uh, the power strip here, which, damn it, doesn't light up. I just spilled an energy drink. Um, okay. Not 
getting anything. This thing not on. Um, oh, so it was on and I turned it off. And then I turned it back on and then off. We got 119.7. And if we check this here, we will get 240. 239.7. I'm not sure why. But anyway, um, the closest thing I have sitting over here that I could really put a load on this with um, there I go smacking around a bake light uh, is my uh, soldering station here. So turn on the uh, The iron part. There you see. I'll turn on the other part. See what it does. Battery dropped. Uh, panels went up to 460 watts. 500. 600, 670, 700. We're using, uh, looks like 400 watts. You hear it kicked up a little bit. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. So that's point four three kilowatts at the top that you see there. And I've got this on right now. And I've got it set to 500 Celsius. And it's almost at its temperature. So, I wish that they would actually just show watts, not kilowatts. I don't, I, I just convert it over when it goes that far. I want to be able to see that that is 370 watts, not 0.38 kilowatts. So we're drawing a bit, but anyway, I need to put something else to load this thing up. And I don't want to sit here and make something with this like heat. We'll put the thing back down on here. It's going to start cooling down. The load's going to drop. You're going to hear it drop. The other thing that we need to do is we need to put an oscilloscope on this and have a look-see and see what does it look like on a scope. So, um, all I have right now is six panels on it, but it's it's hit up all the way to 700 watts from what I can tell. And it's not good conditions right now, really. Um, I could plug the air conditioner into it actually and see what happens but uh, that air conditioner pulls quite a bit and it's already on the other one with a lot of panels so um, I don't know so basically with this one here I could um, get 240 or I can feed um, I can either feed the other side with 120, but it is split phase, so you combine the two of them and you get 240 split phase. So I wish the display would just stay on. So we're making 170 watts. Um, and put the let's see that one. 119. Okay, I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna shut the, the one part off here. And I'm gonna need to find something else that will load this up that's worthwhile loading. I mean, I could hook up the 3D printer. I'm sure that draws a fair amount, and it's right next to me. All right, so I'm actually gonna try something just really quick. It's gonna be kind of slow, but we've got the other air conditioner, and it's pretty large. Um, I I honestly don't believe there's enough solar to um, to provide for it at the moment. But we'll go ahead and plug it in here. You hear it fire up. We shut this off so it has a fighting chance. And um, this is going to be all probably battery for the most part. Um, I'm going to come back in a minute because it's going to take about two to five minutes for this uh, conditioner to kick on. So it should be kicking on any minute. We're going to kind of watch the meter. Um, this thing's not super helpful. It looks like it's drawing 100 watts, maybe. I don't understand their display, how they have it laid out. As coming from using MPP Solar and PAL MR stuff, which all seems to be similar um, also I don't understand this day and age how come they can't just use uh, um, an organic display okay I just seen it kick on and we did sag a little bit to 19.2 119.2 we hear it spool up we're pulling 700 watts and we're still only making 190 um, solar. Our battery sagged down to 53.5. And also, I've got the 7300 on in the background, and I'm going to check it really quick and see if I detect any additional crap that I don't normally see. So, another thing, too, is I'm looking at. Um, my monitor on the computer but it doesn't seem to update itself in real time so that's kind of an issue but I'm going to bring you in a little closer so that .697 is the um, the load on the I guess they call it the UPS and then that up there is our solar production and that there is our battery so I guess it is fairly explanatory, but I just don't like the abbreviations. I mean, even on this app here, it shows me 705 watts, 176 watts. Um, what I find is this is connected to the browser. It kind of doesn't keep up. It needs to be refreshed. Um, so I don't know what I just did for that. So we could come down here and get an idea of what's going on. Let's see the consumption. It would be nice if this thing didn't follow me around like that. Um, so their app is actually really nice. I, that should be my meter beeping, which I'll just go ahead and turn it off. I really hate buying nine volt batteries and the rechargeables aren't cheap. I actually need to buy a meter that just takes triple A's or double A's. Anyway, um, actually, I have one. I forgot about it. I have the uh, McCulloch meter, <laughs> but it's off by a little bit. So it gives us the voltage of the string, and this is really gonna have a hard time. There's no way that we're going to provide the power that this thing needs from the solar at this time of day. I'll take you outside and show you what I'm hooked to. So all of these right here, these are on a different one. We don't have no sun. So 
so this these were all originally in a two series configuration the monsoons have caused everything to grow really badly so anyway and it's just going into there so then I got these ones I can probably put these all in series and then I get these ones and then I have these ones and these ones so these are all I don't know if they're um, worth pulling off the other one or not what I need to do is probably put some of them over here because this will catch the morning sun and um, it'll be good till I don't know. It doesn't work all day. That's the problem. So like these ones here catch sun in the evening, which is actually really when you need it the most because it gets hot and nasty. So basically it looks like a mad science experiment at the moment. And I can't really feed any of the other panels to this because it wants to see a minimum of 120 volts and my 37 volt panels are in two series so but we're going to tax this a little bit and then if I'm willing to absolutely completely tear apart the radio shack I can mount it on the wall over here and I can have it hooked up to 240 volts on here and it will allow me to keep the batteries charged so Unfortunately, it's not capable of doing what I thought it would do, which is called blending. And so blending is where you're using some of the grid and your solar at the same time. This isn't capable of doing that. It's also not capable of feeding back to the grid, which I don't really care about. But um, these other inverters that I have over here are capable of doing that, specifically the green one. I don't remember if this one is or not. I, I think that this one cannot do that. So this one here has only a 40 amp charge controller in it, which is kind of like about a thousand watts at 24 volts. And it has a 3000 watt inverter, so it's kind of a little uh, ridiculous. Uh, they're intending you to basically probably not use more than a thousand watts. And honestly, on any of this type of equipment, I don't ever want to run it at 100%, so... Um, you wouldn't want I'm putting 8.7 amps out of this but that's actually going into um, the other window air conditioner and I'm not inverting from this oh you guys can't even see the damn thing sorry the 9 amps going into the battery I don't remember I think there's six panels on this one so, yeah, my average voltage is like 52. If I was to hook that string up to the other one, it wouldn't do anything. And so then I had to move this one down here because the wires weren't long enough to reach. Um, so I can't even see anything on it anymore, but it's okay. I, I know exactly what this one does. They've got all the panels that you saw in the backyard. They're basically coming in here to this breaker. And there's two two sets. These like to pull out. I can't stand these stupid things. These ones are the worst ones I've seen so far. The Jota ones. Um, and they just like over and over and over. Whatever they used on these. Um, I hope that these aren't as bad. Um because these ones are horrible. Over and over they pull out. I've tried soldering the wires and putting a little bit on the end so it has something to grab on to where it can't slip. They're just crap. These look like a little bit different, but anyway, these are the worst I've ever seen. So if you see these on Amazon, don't buy them. Anyway, um, we should start ramping up here, I would think. So, if we go back over to here, 
I, I don't know if this thing is actively changing or not. Yeah, I guess it did. 160. But as you can see, we're pulling 624 watts out of the battery. So it's nice that it gives you these, you know, numbers. You can realize, well, okay, I'm making 160. I'm using 624. I'm drawing 701, 708.